Today, man, we're discussing some terrible head sculpts, all right? We're, di we're diving into this. I was actually going through some of my fodder bins. This is why the, the idea for this video and the entire thing about this came up is because I was going through my fodder bin, trying to go through some things that I want to sell, going through just different parts of my collection, trying to figure out some things that I wanted to put on whatnot and just kind of go through and kind of decluttering everything here. And I saw a head sculpt and I said, damn, I hate this head sculpt. Get it the hell out of my house. And then I looked at it and said, you know what, man? I need to make a video on the worst head sculpt. So the, the head sculpts that I personally hate. Now, I couldn't put them all in this video. I think maybe if you guys want to see another part of this, you can let me know. But we're going to dive into my least favorite head sculpts that we've ever seen from Mattel. I mean, my God, I'm not including Jax and all the different ones because, I mean, you could make a whole historical set on some of the damn head sculpts we've seen out here in the streets, Bradley. But today, man, we're going to dive into them. Let's start things off with this figure right here. And I hate all of them, all of them that come with this figure. It is the Ultimate Edition Becky Lynch figure. This figure doesn't look like Becky Lynch at the slightest. Now, just because these head sculpts don't necessarily look like the person or just because I hate them does not mean that the head sculpts don't look like like there's just like something horrifically wrong with them. So in this case, I don't think this looks anything like Becky Lynch. Does it look like a decently looking female? Of course. I think that this is not a just, oh my god, the, the nose is all the way over here or like her face is mangled or something like that. I'm just saying that this doesn't look anything like Becky Lynch, man. This looks nothing like Becky Lynch. I think it's atrocious. I've always hated them. I, I don't think this looks like Becky Lynch at the slightest. I think they went on record to say that this Becky Lynch figure, they spent so much time trying to fit, like trying to make these perfect, and I think it's one of those cases where they spent so much time on it that they've completely detracted from their original source material, and they put so much into it that it just doesn't look right, and that is the case with this Ultimate Becky. Get it the hell out the of it. Just get the, uh, uh. Next up, we're going to be talking about Basic Series 65 Kevin Owen. This head sculpt gets defended by a lot of people, man. I hate this head sculpt. I despise it. I think it looks nothing like Kevin Owens. It looks like Kevin Owens if he were in an alternate reality where he didn't make it in wrestling. This looks nothing like the man. I don't like this head sculpt. I've seen people... I remember back in the day when this first released, and I think this isn't the only time they gave us this. I think they put it on the Kevin Owens Tough Talker. I think they put it on some other versions of Kevin Owens figures. But I remember back in the day, people were fixing up their elites, man. Don't you be don't you be hiding. I know some people watching this video took that basic that looked like this and put it on their elite because they thought it looked good. This don't look good, man. This did not look good. It's never looked good. This then now forever never look good. All right, in the in the negative. I know then now forever is supposed to be together. Hell nah, Brad. This looks terrible. Get it out of my face. Next up, we're going to be talking about Basic Series 145 Kane. Now I do believe they've done this head sculpt beforehand with Kane, but this one just looks horrible. I do not like this head sculpt. Never been a fan. I think that the original mask sculpt was much better. And not that this one is just, I, I don't know, I hate it. I just hate it, man. If you look at this head sculpt, I think that there are multiple things that are wrong with this. To me, I've always called this head sculpt the Soiled It SpongeBob Kane mask. It looks like the face that SpongeBob made before he started saying Soiled It on that one episode of SpongeBob where Plankton worked at the Krusty Krab and he's like, and you know, he's like, uh, 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 uh. and then he's like, soiled it, soiled it, all that shish. That's what this head sculpt reminds me of. As soon as I see this, it looks like soiled it and it looks like he, he soiled himself. It looks awful. I don't like this head sculpt. I think that Jax, the Jax R3 Kane head sculpt was much better mask sculpt. And it's unfortunate because they're going to use this as the Kane mask for years. I mean, how long did it take to get this one? Oh, God. I don't look forward to that. But then again, I guess that's not true because the Ultimate Edition head sculpts were much better. The much better likeness. And then they come out with this. It was a step backwards, man. It was a step backwards. But I want to say that this one came before the Ultimate. But I could be wrong about that. I want to say that, though. I could be wrong. But I swear that's... Next up, we're getting into the Defining Moments John Cena, the second one. Not the first one, not the first one with the smiling head sculpt, the second one where he looks like he's 187 years old. This head sculpt does not look like John Cena. And I remember when this figure first released, I went to my Toys R Us locally. This was back when I was in college, I think, is when this figure released. And I used to go to my Toys R Us every, every weekend. I would go, or every week, I would go to my Toys R Us before.
before going home, I would hit Toys R Us, see what they had, and then I would hit the road. And I remember when they first got this set in, and I bought five of these, I think, and that kind of kick-started, you know, some of my John Cena collection. But I always hated the head sculpts, and I don't even know why I bought five of these. I think it's just because it was a John Cena with Word Life armbands and jorts, and it had, you know, different bells and whistles that I needed. But the jersey, I mean, I don't want to talk about all the things wrong with this figure, but it's so many inaccuracies. We could go into the lore of it. Just God in heaven, man. That needs to be its own video. The next topic video, like the Jeff Hardy one, needs to be on John Cena and the inaccuracies that people do with him all the time, and they mix eras, and it's all kinds of craziness. But anyway, let, it, this head sculpt sucks. It's not good. It's not good. I never liked it. Get it get it out of my face. Next up is one that I think a lot of people would agree with, and I'm sure there's some... I, I, that's one thing you need to do right now is down in the comment section below, you need to write out what your least favorite head sculpts or some of your least favorite head sculpts Mattel's ever done. But this one's going to be up there for a lot of people, man. Elite 54 Jimmy Uso. You knew it had to be on here, man. You knew it had to be on here. This head sculpt was terrible. Just a terrible head sculpt. And Jimmy Uso is one of those guys that he can never catch a damn break, man. His head sculpts, it either looks like Jay or it looks like G is just trash. This one is not good. A lot of people, it was a, no, it was just unanimous. It was unanimous on this one. This, this Jimmy Uso head sculpt was atrocious. Not good in the slightest. Didn't look like the man whatsoever. And it was disappointing because Jay's looked damn good, man. Jay Uso has a great track record of head sculpts, really. In all honesty, he really does. This one, it just missed the mark in all the ways. Jimmy Uso Elite 54 was terrible. Next up is one that may be underrated, man, or a lot of people may disagree with me here, but I think it's Elite 33 Seth Rollins. Never like this one. He looks like a cartoon drawing of himself, and this one stinks a lot because they just redid it in the Greatest Hits line not too long ago, and it's just the same awful head sculpt with true effects. Never liked it. Thought it looked terrible. Thought the hair looked terrible. I think it like bows out too much, and then you have all these other things going on with it. It just, I don't know what it is. It's like the skin tone's paler than the, uh, you know, the, the the later look of Seth Rollins and his figures, but I just think this head sculpt just looks like a, I don't even know. He looks like a movie villain from a Disney movie or something. I don't know what's going on. I don't think this looks like Seth Rollins. Kind of looks like a bird a little bit. He's got a little birdness going on there. I just don't like this head sculpt. Never liked it. I know some people like it. I don't. And another thing is when you're leaving your own list down below, I want to know if you agree. Do you think these head sculpts are like terrible or do you are you completely the opposite? Like, ah, man, I think you're wrong on this one. I want to know, man, because I think, and again, this isn't, a, this isn't a video full of just the ones that are just ugly head sculpts. It's just they, I don't like them. They don't look good to me. And like, I don't know. Anyway, we're moving on. Elite 60 AJ Styles. This is another one where I've never liked it. I thought the Elite 56, which is the original version of this head sculpt, actually looked a lot better. And this is in the era where they were applying true effects to every figure or they were working towards that and applying true effects to each figure. So maybe it's just the learning curve that they were going through. But the Elite 56 AJ Styles, much better than the Elite 60 or 61 here. I think it's Elite 61 AJ Styles. Figure was terrible. His face looks like a lost puppy or something. I was never a fan of this head sculpt. It just, it, it, I really hate this figure. I really hate this figure. It's one of my least favorite Mattel Elites they've ever done. And I think that just comes down to execution of the entire thing. It was like the attire was very dark compared to the actual colors. The torso, obviously, with the AJ Styles history was terrible. Head sculpt looked atrocious. He was very tiny. I just wanted to get rid of it. I just, God in heaven, there are some trash figures out there, man. But there is some opposite of that. There are amazing figures that blow me away. This one is in the dumpster. I do not like this one. And then we're getting into the last figure or the last head sculpt that we're going to talk about today in this video. It is going to be Elite Series 59 Miz. This one was always so goofy to me, man. And you guys know I don't care for the goofy head sculpts. I understand them, but for the most part, I do not enjoy goofy looking head sculpts. And this Elite 59 Miz, man. Yeah. <laughs> This one is so goofy. He has, like, the people's eyebrow going on. He looks like a villain off Nick Jr. in this case. I just think that he should be stealing Dora the Explorer's backpack or something. He just doesn't look good. And then he's got that weird, like, fleshy beard in there. Oh, God. This one's not good. I'd never like this Miz. I don't like this Miz, period, for the most part. It's a plain gear, 
entrance jacket was rubber and stifled all of his articulation. Head sculpt was atrocious. This may be one of the, my least favorite Miz figures ever. I never liked this figure, never liked the head sculpt. And yeah, this is the last head sculpt I wanted to talk about in this video, but I ran down how many figures? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different head sculpts that I despise from Mattel. You'll never see them in my collection in terms of fixing up. I'll never, ever fix up a figure with one of these head sculpts. It just won't happen. Usually, it'll be me taking these figures in general. I mean, I guess if they were elites, and I'll switch them out immediately. No space in my collection for these head sculpts. They just don't look good. This is why I switched out my elite 54 Jimmy Uso with the elite 64, I think it was, where he was yelling. Which was, you know, I always talk about guys yelling, but that Elite 64 is much better than the 54. And then the Ultimate Edition Becky, they, you know, Becky Lynch was kind of on that Bret Hart train for a while, man, where they couldn't get her right if they had, like, I don't know, if they put Becky Lynch herself in the packaging, they weren't getting it right. And they, uh, they finally got away from that. They finally did start to come back to earth with her and actually nail the likeness and a lot of her other figures. And that was such a good day when they finally did that. But that Ultimate Edition was just horrific. And, uh, I stand by that. You know what I'm saying? I'm planting my flag on the heel of all these head sculpts. And they don't look good. But I want to know what you think of my opinions on these head sculpts and also what you think are the most atrocious of all time. And I'd like to know what you think down in the comments section below but i'm getting the hell out of here man thank you guys so very much for watching hope you guys did enjoy the video let me know your thoughts on all the bad head sculpts that exist and i would like to know all those things man but a huge shout out to our patreon members man appreciate all you fellas over there you guys are absolutely goaded as always unlike the head sculpts in this video of course but follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'm getting the hell out thank you guys have a blessed day and i'll catch you next time